Warning. All displays of negativity will be deliciously repackaged and properly returned to sender. Only good vibes allowed beyond this point. Now, if you're ready, come on in. Champagne gang, fizz fam, confidants. <laughs> Welcome to Gram Slam, the ultimate Instagram extravaganza. So instead of separate videos, because who has time for that? We're slamming through some of the hottest topics and juiciest gossip on Instagram. So grab your favorite glass of bubbly. I don't care if it's water. Pull up one of those chase lounges over there. Kick your feet up and relax. I know you've had a long day. And let's slam through the gram. But before we do, raise those glasses high. You know it's time for our dose of empowerment. Come on now, raise them high. Today, let's talk about the magic of choosing positivity. Imagine waking up every day and deciding to see the glass is half full, to greet challenges with a smile, and to radiate sunshine no matter the weather. Choosing positivity is like sprinkling a little bit of sparkle on everything you touch. It reshapes your world, turns obstacles into opportunities, and transforms every moment into a celebration of life. When you embrace positivity, you attract good vibes, amazing experiences, and fabulous people into your life. It's like you're a magnet for all things wonderful. So let's raise our glasses to a mindset that elevates us, a spirit that empowers us, and a heart that knows the power of a positive outlook. Here's to you, confidants, for you are worth it. So y'all, for our first story, we're going to start with a story that I saw on Instagram under Tasha K Live, and it was about a woman who was stating, you know what, check it out for yourself, then we'll get into it. My husband always tells me he would have rather stayed single than marry me. <laughs> How did me and my husband meet? Oh my gosh, we met at church. You know, he has this very funny story that he tells. When he first saw me, he thought I was so ugly. <laughs> yeah, he thought I was so ugly. He literally said that he said to himself that I would rather be unalive than marry a woman that looks like that. <laughs> and so what drew him to me was really my prayer. Um, he saw me praying and he and he said to himself, you know, God, although she looks like a toe, that's the kind of prayer that I want in a woman. And God told him that is your wife. And and he fought it for so long. He fought it for so long because he was like, there's no way that my life, my wife can look that that unattractive. But you know what? God, God won him over. My, my husband always tells me he would have rather stayed single than marry me. I know you fucking lying. Say what now? Ninja, you better lie to me. Because to tell your future wife she looks like a big toe is diabolical. <laughs> Absolutely diadambolical. Ninja, the plank, the door. Off with your head. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Y'all know the rest of it because what? So somehow we are conditioning. Oh, see, this is why the church stresses me out. Because somebody taught that this was okay. Somebody taught this theology, this ideology that a ninja can walk up to you and tell you as long as he's complimenting your prayer life that he can look you in your face and call you ugly. Are you serious? Somebody taught this. But not all of them. We're not going to do that because we have a nasty habit of clumping everything and everybody into one. All white people are. All black people are. The church is shut up. But I'm talking about these today. Because we make ourselves look so damn delusional to the world when we say and do the dumb ish that we say and do. And before you get in my comments, baby, I speak Jesus and cuss fluently. So don't do too much. But we do. Where in the Bible does it say degrade your future wife as long as you're attracted to her prayer life? So is he screwing you with a paper bag over your head like Marlon Wayans in Scary Movie? What are we doing? Some of us are so damn desperate for a man, a husband, that we say, do, and accept anything to justify holding on to a piece of meat that most times will throw you to the side if something better comes along. What happens when he meets Sister Third Row with the prayer life looks and a body, huh? This ninja said, I'd rather be unalive, deceased, 
sleeping with the fishes. Clear than to be married to you. And you still said I do. The problem ain't him. The problem is you. Because how dare you let a man play in your face like this. But you know what? God won him over. Heifer, he ain't screwing God. God ain't coming down to kiss him. What the hell is going on in the world? Press part. Real question. Do y'all think it was the CERN or COVID-19? That's the cause for this consistent state of delusion plaguing this world like a pandemic of stupidness. Because what the fuck? But she didn't stop there. And this comment is exactly why a lot of you guys don't have husbands. It doesn't bother me that my husband called me ugly when he first met me and told me that he was only attracted to my spiritual life because we have a godly covenant marriage that isn't based on attraction, but is based on ministry and the word of God. Attraction is nothing more than lust and lust is a sin. You cannot build a marriage on lust. So because our marriage is about ministry, um, and honoring God, it's okay that he's not super attracted to me because if he was, we would never get ministry done. Imagine what my ministry would be like, what our marriage would be like if he was constantly rubbing on me and trying to kiss me. That That's, that's idolatry, that's sin, that's lust. And this comment is exactly why a lot of you guys so now we don't have husbands because we won't allow a piece of flesh with a woodpecker to call us ugly girl are you okay is this girl married to one of nature boy's followers because what girl blink twice if you need some help because ain't no way ain't no damn way how the hell do you have a godly covenant marriage when everything you say goes against everything the bible says love is everything that god is when God said you are fearfully and wonderfully made, marvelous are thy work. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. So you're saying God is ugly? You're made in his image after his likeness. How about husbands love your wife as your own bodies? So he thinks he's ugly too, huh? So I guess ugly is as ugly does. Should your spouse be attracted to your prayer life? Yes. But you know damn well that's not going to keep him if when you get up from praying he has to look in your face and all he sees is a toe. This is why people don't come to church. This is why. Because we make church, God, Christianity seem so far-fetched that no one can attain it or they'll fail trying. Or we present them boiled liver trying to convince them it's filet mignon. And we get mad when they can see the difference. And if it is a skit, why? Why would you do a skit that attempts to normalize being a peasant, a jester performing in someone else's court when God says we're meant for the palace? Make it make sense. But baby, when you'd rather be lonely with someone than alone without them, this is what you get. Next! So next on the docket, we have Jada Wade. Yeah. Yeah, check this out. Can a guy have less than you and you f with him? <laughs> oh, why you saying low? I, I hear you. You clear your throat. I you was, said, <laughs> yeah, you said, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> No, I ain't hear you. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh yeah, no. No. I'm not. I, I have to have. I feel like, like that's one of my. As a man, I feel like you just should have more than me. Like, yeah, because dating somebody that doesn't have more, they're gonna try to make you feel less than as a woman. That's how I feel genuinely. Um, I know girls who are more dominant in the relationship as far as financial status, and their boyfriends try to dog them out just to make them feel like they're not that. Big. And I never want to be a part of that. I'd rather deal with it. I know God more than me. Dog me out. Rather than me. No, don't no, say dog. No, but really, I'm, I'm talking for Please. like, because at the end of the day, all these bitches <laughs> getting cheated on. That's you believe that? That's how I feel. Men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. You ain't okay. so Well, that's just, I'm saying that's how I feel. In in some type of aspect, every woman <clears throat> is getting cheated on. That's I just I was talking to my mama about that. Like, she was saying it's literally human nature for men to, for just, men to like, just naturally be it's just how it is it, we're literally made from animals so we have that in us you see something you like you're gonna make with them like that's so you saying men or you saying the men men men, or men. women don't men this prey on women yeah any animal is like that they see what they like they gonna get it i feel like women have self-control men it's like y'all just don't have hold on oh, no 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 no
what I'm saying is, what that's I'm saying back is, back okay, well, no, can I kill them back to what I'm saying? That's back when our grandmom, they had self control. These new motherfuckers are dropping like it's hot. Well, I'm speaking for myself. Right. I'm speaking for myself. Drop get your ego on, girl. So Jada Waiter, the baby mama of Lil Baby, recently did this interview and was asked, would you date a man who's less than you or makes less than you? Whichever it was, you know, my short term memory be glitching. Sometimes I think I need a software download from the Matrix because help. But her answer was no. And she then responds, and hold on y'all. <laughs> Let me take a sip because sometimes I feel like I lose brain cells on social media. <sighs> She says, I feel like they're going to try to make you feel less than. Y'all, these rappers screw anything. I'm convinced. And these are the moms teaching the new generation. Girl, how in the whole hell can he make you feel less than if you have more? Are we serious? Lil Baby and this girl clearly had no real conversations other than between the sheets or in the back of the truck. Clearly, because you piped her and put a baby in her, not thinking about what she's going to teach her children. It's the other way around, ain't it? See, these young girls don't want to build an empire. There it is. They want to step into one that's already built. You appreciate more what you invest in. If I fight my way to the top, I'll appreciate the work I put into it. If I screw my way there, well, this is what happens. A bunch of dumb theology sitting at the top. And the sad part is, someone will listen and say, she's right. If I get a man with power and money, I'm going to be straight. Go ask Cassie how that turned out. Diddy had money and power and she was being used and abused. So then she turns around and says, hold on y'all, let me sip again. I'd rather be with a man with money, but dogs me out. So you said you don't want a man with less than you because they make you feel less than. Then in the same breath, you turn around and say to a man with money, it's okay to dog you out. Girl, what? So you don't care if it barks as long as it has money. And these are the individuals that get the mic and the platform. Sheesh, beam me up, Scotty, because I'm sick of it. The fact that she even said this means she's not looking for love. She's looking for a financier. And a lot of them are. That's the thing now. Baby, don't get a job. Don't get a hustle. Don't start a business. No. That's so 2002. In 2024, we find rich ninjas to fund our lifestyles and fund our businesses. We don't care about commitment. So then she goes on to say that all men cheat. This is what I mean by the cluster society. Because they just cluster everything together. Because the ones that you screwed treated you like a straight, now all men cheat. No, the ones you chose do. 25 years old and you still walk around talking about niggas ain't shit. You need to get a handle on your motherfucking life and take some responsibility, bitch. What you mean to say is all the niggas you fuck with ain't shit. You need to figure out what it is about your pussy that keep attracting ain't shit niggas. Why are you letting off pheromones that's attracting ain't-ish ninjas? That's the question. Then, as if the conversation couldn't get any worse, she goes on to say, we're all made from animals. Girl, what damn animals are we made from? So you let the world and society convince you that the stereotypes are true and we come from monkeys, apes, maybe, crawled out of caves, just metamorphed into another creature, huh? Child, I'm scared, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm scared that this is the future. And these, these I'm sure are the Trump supporters. The ones who see a dollar as the delivery on a promise. If you really knew the animal kingdom, dumb, dumb ditty, you know the traits and positions of females are leadership, independence, caregiving, and fighting instincts. Humans are the only ones that don't know how to get it together. Girl, a lion sleeps 23 hours a day. So who do you think is making Ish shake? while he's asleep girl get it to damn get the reason why i didn't like twitter is because it's like too accessible for instance like bitches used to step to me too often on twitter and it's like you can't control who mention you who don't mention you so i just ew i don't want to know nothing out of sight out of mind baby they don't give a damn. I used to get all the tea like, bitch, I was just with your nigga. Like, babe, <laughs> what I don't know won't kill me. I don't want to know. Stop telling me that man business. They used to be telling me all that man business. The reason why I didn't like 
y'all i'm probably gonna be drunk before i finish this video because this is what the dating pool looks like for y'all i'm sorry fella i'm so sorry this is what it looks like don't tell me that man business but he piping you what you don't know won't off you girl it absolutely will ask people in the cemetery if that's true ask people walking around with diseases they didn't ask for and can't get rid of if that's true but she said if you got money you can dog her out so that's right up there with i moved on her actually you know she was down in palm beach i moved on her and i failed i'll admit it Whoa. i did try and fuck her she was married <laughs> huge news there oh, no nancy yeah. no this was and i moved on her very heavily in fact i took her out furniture shopping she wanted to get some furniture i said i'll show you where they have some nice furniture <laughs> I took off her and I moved on her like a bitch, but I couldn't get there, and she was married. Then all of a sudden, I see her, she's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's totally changed her look. She's your girl's hot as shit, in the purple. Whoa! Whoa. Yes! Whoa! Oh, yes, the Donald Whoa! Oh, my man! Wait, wait, you gotta look at me when this you get out of here. Remember, set this up. That is very you give me the thumbs look up? Look at you. You are a piece. You gotta put the thumbs up. <laughs> you gotta okay. get the thumbs up. Okay. Can't be too happy. else off first? Yeah, let me. It's very funny. You gotta give it a thumbs up. Alright, you and I will walk down. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a different one. Better not be the publicist. No, it's, it's her. It's yeah, that's her. With the gold. I gotta use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. Pull the hell. Hello. How are you? Hi. Nice How nice are seeing you? you. Terrific. Pleasure to meet you. Terrific. You know Billy Bush? Hello. How are you? Nice. Yeah, right up there with that. And it's because of girls like this that they think that women are okay with this kind of ish. Girl, get off here. Next. So next we have Erica Mina, the former wife, current baby mama, to Safari. And she made a post that stated the audacity of this poster itch, deadbeat, gets me every time. You know what stresses me out about this? And women who do this. This was your choice. Mm-hmm. There it is. Nobody told you to get with him. Nobody told you to date him. Where did you see a manual that stated that your experience with him was going to be different than everybody else? What did he do to show you that he was going to be different with you than he was with anybody else? See, this is what stresses me out with women. Somehow we think our putty tat is so good that when a ninja gets with us, he going to treat us differently than he treated everybody else that he was with. As if somehow our putty tat is so special. Putty got some power. It takes more than good coochie to hold on to a man. And if he did it before, what makes you think he wasn't going to do it again? Safari is the poster boy for immaturity and the limelight. So what made you think when he got with you it was going to be different? Because you put it on and made him want to marry you. Huh? Child. Then when it doesn't go your way, you want to run to the internet. And oh, he's a deadbeat. Oh, he's a this. Oh, he's a that. He wasn't that when you were spreading your legs for him. A few times because you got a few babies out the deal. We got to stop. Because what you have to understand is one day you're children are going to see these posts. One thing that I never did with my children's father was tear them down or disgrace them to my children. Never. Because my relationship with their father was not theirs. Therefore, I'm not going to subject my children to our failed relationship in an effort to what? Make your children pick sides? They will hate you for it. This is 2024. At some point, we got to start taking responsibility for our choices. I made this choice. No, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but this was a choice that I made. I accept responsibility for my choice. And from this day forward, I'm going to choose better. That's all it takes. But all this jumping on the internet, dead beat this, dead beat that, punk itch this, punk itch that. Come on, y'all. Black, white, or in between. It needs to stop. Because these were the men we chose. For whatever reason we chose them, probably his pipe game. But for whatever reason it was, you made that choice. Live with the consequences of it. 
Next. So then we have Kelly Kristen, formerly of the Bad Girls Club. And if you guys uh, watched the video, I did a video on her where she was crying, talking about how her husband, her children's father, had left her and went on a trip to Mexico with her best friend. I wanted to slide on that fool. And she was so hurt and so distraught. So I'd like to report to you that she has had her beautiful baby and we are wishing her nothing but the best hope healing and may god send her the love of her life that will completely make her forget about all the pain she experienced with whoever this character was that she procreated with and i pray that he and her friend get everything that's coming to them and we're gonna leave that there okay hey y'all real quick so i have a question what are y'all gonna do now that all y'all hot girls are getting knotted up <laughs> i mean seriously I think I saw where Sierra from Love and Hip Hop got married. Quad from Married to Medicine, all booed up. And now the you don't know now how star has tied the knot. And y'all, he fine too. I am a sucker for dreads and dimples. <laughs> I am, I promise you. But it looks like Trina has given up her hot girl pants and decided to settle down and become wifey. It looks like she tied the knot in May. But y'all, Trina middle name is Laverne. Laverne, really? That's right up there with, hello Barbara, this is Shirley. Laverne is diabolical. But we want to say congratulations and we want to wish them the best. What y'all think about all the hot girls getting tied down? Looks like the hot girl summer gonna be full of plus ones, ain't it? <laughs> Next. So y'all listen, Polly Shore, who in my opinion is the Caucasian Orlando Brown. <laughs> so Polly Shore recently did an interview and <laughs> y'all gotta hear it for yourself. Check this out. Now this one is for my bottle boys. So bottle girls, you can sit back on this one. <laughs> Fellas, scoot up. Listen, so what I was saying about having sex with this transgender woman that I recently had sex with. So. Did you really? Yes. The vagina is man made. It's a man made vagina. You know that, right? Like someone made it. What like, are you talking the, about? I'm talking about the surgery. The surgery is okay, a surgery. With a transgender person. Yes, yeah, so with a transgender woman. Is man made. The vagina is man made. Yeah. yeah, like a doctor does. Okay. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, so we're clear on that. Yes, right? yes. Uh-huh. So listen, so I had sex with a transgender woman. Chinese, listen, I had sex with a transgender woman. Holy, I am listening. I am listening. So, can... Okay, so you had sex with a... I'm listening. Okay. Okay, sorry. She's getting uneasy. She wants to no, know... No, I... Just get to the thing. Get to the thing. All right. So I had sex with a transgender woman, and when I put it when I put it in, it made that macaroni... Yes. You know, or that... that was it? The macaroni noise? Macaroni in a pot. But it also went... Bzz, 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 brrr, pa, 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 brrr, because mm -hmm. there was weird shit in there because they man made it. There was some like weird other you things. You were getting through scar tissue. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And there was like a thing that was under it going like this. Mm -hmm. And it was a great, it was like literally the best orgasm I've ever had. It's like, you know, how they say once you go black, you don't go back. Uh -huh. Once you go trans, you don't go back either. Really? So I'm not going to have sex with any more just normal women. Okay. Only trans because it's the best vagina in the world. A man made pussy is better than a normal pussy. What do you want from me? Next question. Next question. Listen. Oh, fellas, <laughs> bottle boys, <laughs> I need y'all to time in. So are y'all taking the impossible putty over the tap? <laughs> are y'all taking a chance to see if it feels better? I can't answer this question. I can't. But it begs for the question to be answered. Who was this ninja frucking? See, this is what happens when a lot of you men like going for these young, immature girls who, who don't know what to do with it except twerk. I gotta stay PG. This is YouTube. <laughs> so, you telling me you ain't got with no grown woman that know how to clamp and pulse on it? That's what you telling me? Hmm. At the end of the day, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> ain't nothing better than the real thing. <laughs> ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Ain't nothing like the real thing. Oh. <laughs> And at the end of the day, this is Polly Shore. So, <laughs> we don't know if he's being serious or being Polly. I, but I'm gonna have to stand up for the women on this one, baby. Because if you got with the real thing and had to leave it for an imitation, baby, you need to try again. Put your hand back in the Cracker Jack box because you clearly pulled out the wrong surprise. Because I'm not gonna let you do women like that. <laughs>
I'm not. No, I'm not. You need to try again, bro. <laughs> find you a woman who know what to do with what she got. Is all I'm going to tell you. Find something grown. Stop playing around with these little girls. All these little girls running around with a big button and smile and don't know what to do with it. Giving real women a bad name. Sat down somewhere. <laughs> next. So next up, we have Sexy Red. And she had the crowd jumping at the BET Awards. <laughs> Which was trash, by the way. And that tribute to U-S-H-E-R-R-A-Y-M-O-N-D. Tragic. And what was this? person that can tap into that inner usher and he was on tour <laughs> but let's get back to get it sexy get it sexy i still don't like it <laughs> and here's the thing right we have reached a day and age where you don't have to have real talent you just have to go viral with the talent you have facts the people are creating celebrities now not hard work Create a cute song, people like it, a producer will pick you up, hire a writer for you if need be, and there you go. You don't have to be an artist, you don't even have to be a performer, because her performance was stale to me. She doesn't have stage presence. But here's the thing, right? We get so mad at her songs. I do. I'm one too. But here's the thing, though. This ain't new. Nah. Having overly sexual music, it don't matter. Just don't bite it. Come on, y'all. Come on. We ain't gonna act like this new. If you two wouldn't trip, we'd really have fun and go down a music timeline. <laughs> but I ain't trying to get nobody's copyright strike. But come on, y'all. Head down, butt up. That's the way we like to. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. All you had to hear was this. Don't talk, just listen. Child, all we had to hear was them four words, and it was gonna be trouble, trouble. Come on now, y'all, stop playing. We're not gonna act like each generation didn't have its fair share of ratchetness and filth. My mama generation was, I be stroking. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. <laughs> I stroke it to the east and I stroke it to the west. Come on, y'all. Let's not forget it's our generation that produced. Now tell me your mind didn't flash back. <laughs> it's just certain songs that make you flash back to where you were and what you were doing. <laughs> and we weren't grown listening to this. We was kids. Now, we need to stop this foolishness. What we got to understand is our children just take us and amplify it. Don't act like this wasn't our music right here. If I want to do it all in your mouth, then I pull the ass out. Make it bounce till you pass out. Or we can cut up in the grass and get a neighbor's a flag. Then you tell me who the bad motherfucker now. Got like a nigga when he face down, mouth wide. Polo down with them blades on the ride. Keeping the path with them A's on the side. But it's okay, I'm going to break something tonight. Get on your knees and I'll show you what's my fantasy. Like up in the coop, coop. Tell your bitch ain't got to be they just amplified it. That's it. The same thing we did with our parents. The same thing our parents did with their parents. There is nothing new under the sun. Our kids just took us and said, you know, we got to double it. <laughs> That's all they did. They just amplified it. The problem is we, us, we got older and we remember. Remember what Mufasa said to Simba? Remember? We remember what happened when we listened to this music. <laughs> That's the problem. We remember and so did our parents. That's why they tried to keep us away from it. Music provokes feeling. It provokes emotions, mellow moods, champagne nights. <laughs> or back in our day, Arbor Mist and MD 2020. <laughs> Press Paul. What was your drink of choice back in the day? Now this question is for my 35 and older crowd. <laughs> Y'all young folk only know Hennessy and Casa. <laughs> back in the day, we had some drinks that would put you on your ass and make you ask somebody. So this ain't new behavior. This is old behavior. The problem is, it shouldn't be acceptable behavior. Because we know what this produces. It produces young girls who think like this. Who become older girls like this. Who then in turn produce children like this. The problem is at some point we gotta want better for ourselves and for our next generation. Than throwing ass and slanging woodpecker. At what point do we want more than that? That's the problem. It's not that she's doing anything new. It's that everything she's doing is old. <laughs> 
but it brings old consequences. And we're already dealing with a generation with no coping skills. You see how sensitive these celebrities are in these streets? They can't handle anybody talking about them, looking at them the wrong way, saying the wrong word to them. They can't handle rejection. And all we have is a bunch of girls throwing nothing but ass. As if that's the only asset you have, is your ass. That's the problem with this kind of music. But it's gonna take somebody bold enough to step out and change it. Instead of everybody trying to come out and fit a status quo. Everybody's trying to fill the whole market. Where are the thinkers? Where are the young ladies who think and dream bigger and better than this? Because all this is telling the next generation is that your greatest asset is between your legs. So it's okay to auction it to the highest bidder. Therein lies the problem. This is the music that creates Jada Waiters. But y'all, the real tea wasn't on the BET Awards, honey. The real tea was playing out on Instagram. And it was playing out between Sexy Red, a young lady named I Am Kayla B. Y'all, I don't know these people for real. And Chief Keef. Now, him I do know. <laughs> So apparently they have a whole love triangle going on, honey, and it's playing out on the social of the media. Now, I think I'm a little confused because I did see a video a little while back with Sexy Red and Chief Keith, and she said this was her brother. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think this is behavior that's conducive of a brother to have your tongue almost down his throat. But again, I told you, our children take us and amplify it. Because it was a whole lot of our children that was calling some folk uncle. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, let's check out these clips and get into this rigmarole. You can't run me off that easy now. I guess we gotta shred it deep. We sharing these niggas. You know what I'm saying? You can't run me off that easy now. I guess we gotta shred it deep. We sharing these niggas. You know what I'm saying? When did we get to the point where we are glorifying being a side piece? Somebody help me understand. And she didn't start this behavior. Nah. One of the trailblazers for this thought process was Amber Rose with that slut walk. Giving women the freedom to bust it open like a can of biscuits for every Tom, Dick, and Harry that come along. And for some of them, Julie and Josephine. When did being a side piece become okay? Like this is what we aspire to. I don't care if you got them. If I want them, I'ma have them too. And we just gonna have to share. Where did this thought process come from? That's what I wanna know. Especially having a thought process like this so young. Not even realizing the damage that you're doing to your body. Giving it to this one and giving it to that one and giving it to this one and giving it to that one. And then y'all brag about it like it's okay. What's classy about that? Y'all be thinking because these people have money and can dress nice and put on the latest trends that that equals class. You can be dressed up trash. You can be rich trash. Class doesn't fit an economic bracket. Class is a state of mind and a way of being. But when did we get to the point as women where we brag about being side pieces? We were always told, why be the napkin when you can be the centerpiece? Some of y'all cool with just being the napkin. Matter of fact, some of y'all cool with being the throw rug. That's what Jada said. Long as she got the money, she'll be the dog panting at his feet. This is not okay. And not only the side pieces, the girls who stay knowing they have a side piece, knowing what they're doing and they stay. But Jada Waiter gave us the recipe, honey. You can dog me if you have money. That's the thought process. We are damn doomed. Do y'all hear me? So it opens up with a picture of uh, this young lady, I am Kayla, and Chief Keith is saying my boo on her picture, right? So I guess they're supposed to be together in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Because I don't take none of this seriously. But after he posts that, and y'all, these may not be in order because I wasn't trying to take them in order. The point is not the order. The point is the foolishness of this all. So then she posts a picture wearing his chain. Of course, in petty fashion of this generation, Sexy Red posts a picture with the chain betwixt her legs. Now, if this was a real feud back in my day, this wouldn't have ended well because it would have made us feel like you were sending. 
and reaching. And it would have made us feel like we needed to reach back. Thank God some of us grew up. But then it goes on. Sexy Red posts a picture of Chief Keef either in her kitchen cooking or eating some food she's prepared. However it went. So the girl I am Jada then makes a post and says, damn, he didn't even change the outfit I fucked him in on my period my period juice all on this outfit are y'all okay because even if this was a joke this isn't funny that that's nasty when did young ladies become nasty i'm not talking about nasty like freak nasty i mean nasty like nasty because these are the girls that parade around with stds like it's the next fashion trend and then get on social media and talk about it and brag about it this is the generation that doesn't wear protection so they just go around screwing like jackrabbits anything that they feel they can get an in with or get a few dollars out of this is that generation and we don't see a problem ha 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 it's just funny ain't shit funny about that so y'all just swapping juices she don't know who sexy been with sexy don't know who she been with and they both don't know who else chief keith is with just everybody swapping juices no protection just you know you you only live once have fun just live my life oh until you go to the doctor and realize you have something that's terminal like when are we going to get back to a place where we care about our body inside and out instead of just clapping ass and showing ass y'all remember when dances used to be dances or should i say do y'all remember when songs used to have dances attached you know the butterfly uh uh that's all let me see your tootsie roll doing the butt uh uh do the stanky leg do the stanky leg what what happened to having some decorum to having some get up about yourself and not wanting to be seen as trash what happened to saving stuff for the imagination where did that go see we were always taught that men are hunters that's what we were taught so men appreciate more what they have to hunt for instead of what's just laid at their feet that's why they like going hunting because they like the chase women these days are taking the chase away chase what all you got to do is show 2.5 dollars and these are the leaders of tomorrow i heard kids yelling sexy for president sexy red needs to run for president can you imagine what the white house would look like if they allow sexy red to get in office just think about it yeah we gotta do better i want the young women to do better i want you to want better than being a side piece so you can hold on to a ninja with money this ninja sitting in his car looking like dr seuss hat by the shorts her talking about her red juice is still on his shorts and child next i'm done with it i'm over it mm -mm. vamos skedaddle bye get it together no mm -mm. Mm -mm. yeah i need to create an intermission video <laughs> But are y'all glasses still filled to the rim with that favorite bubbly? Maybe even some sparkling water. Doesn't matter. Just make sure you're hydrated. <laughs> but next up, we have Stunner Girl. And if you guys don't know who Stunner Girl is, Stunner Girl is brought to us by the Zeus Network. Mm -hmm. Fight Club Central, the baddies. But she's also a rap artist i believe off the west coast i wasn't familiar with who she was or any of her music until she got on the show baddies but she recently made a post responding to ray j and it said instead of constantly being worried about me ray j needs to focus on what he did to wendy williams she ain't been the same since you took her on that drug binge game what ray j now ray j you already lost one to drugs don't let us find out don't let us find out. Don't let us find out that you got a snort to court. Don't let us find out, Ray J. Now, I'm trying to get behind you in the Tronics Network because I feel like you're trying to bring something new. Some of the stuff's still the same old, same old. However, we would hate to find out that you are the male black widow out here getting rid of the girls. Ray J, don't let us find out. Because you know, Stunner Girl don't mind being a snitch. She already did it on Natalie Nunn. She already dropped the tea on the limo. This is what I don't understand about y'all. Y'all be having these deep, dark secrets. Not saying that this is true. It's alleged. I'm just going off what she said. But y'all be having these deep, dark secrets that y'all seem to share with everybody. 
and then get mad when the deep dark secrets start coming out. What do y'all think about this? We know the suspicious nature behind Whitney's past. I didn't watch the documentary on Wendy. Maybe one of these days I will. I don't like seeing people in a deteriorated state. So I didn't watch the documentary. But, Ray J, don't let us find out. Please. Or your fire duh is what we want you to understand. Cancel. Finito. Vamos. Because men taking advantage of women, to me, is absolutely deplorable. Deplorable. And there's no amount of explanation that can explain it away. Let me know what you guys think about this. I think I got a little bit upset. A little bit. Let me sip on a little something something and get my mood back right. We laughing right now. But this kind of pissed me off. Next. Ayana, you gotta come fix my life right now. My life is a mess. You need to come fix it. No, there's something. I'm telling you, I want to kill some people. No, we are not going to have you killing nobody, Cardi B. Okay. 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 I'm going to kill some people. I'm going to kill Ayana, you gotta come fix my life right now. My life is a mess. You need to so y'all next up we have Cardi B. Bordy. And it looks like some more Cardi offset drama. Now I've been hearing rumors going back and forth about a side piece pregnant at the same time Cardi pregnant. Now I haven't confirmed any of this because I haven't looked it up. So as of right now I'm going to say allegedly. But while I was on the gram, I ran into this conversation. Y'all, let's go through these clips. I'm sick of it already. And before we get into the clips, did y'all see her standing with Ayanla Van Zandt? Y'all, I used to love me some Ayanla, baby. Fix my life. Y'all, she used to inadvertently help fix my life while she was fixing other people's lives. <laughs> Y'all ran a Yanla off TV. It was y'all fault because instead of wanting y'all life fixed, y'all wanted to go on the show and show y'all ass to see who could challenge a Yanla and get away with it. Y'all make me sick. And the problem is that you don't understand that the purpose of a coach is to make your life uncomfortable in order to make your life better. Ask me how I know. <laughs> because I am a coach. Y'all think coaching is supposed to be give you what you want, the way you want it, when you want it. It's a process. It takes time. It takes commitment. But y'all want to get in front of people who can help you get to where you need to get. And you want to tell them how to help you get there. And get an attitude when you don't like the direction they trying to give. Or the road they telling you to go. Well, if you could do it on your own, you wouldn't have needed a coach. That's why you went to them in the first place. So that you can stop running around in the rat race, going in circles, not making it out the maze. Then you get in front of people who can help you out the maze and you want to show your ass. Please go sit down. I vote bring a Yamba back. Because the world definitely need her right now. So now back to Cardi. Now, these are not necessarily saved in chronological order. I have them saved in the order they saved in my computer. <laughs> but... Uh, let's go the, let's go through them. It says a woman named Blue, now mind you, I don't know who Blue is. Post alleges receipts of Offset paying her fifteen thousand dollars to keep quiet about him sending funds to her former friend Pre to allegedly have an abortion. Now remember, this is what these people are saying. So it's all alleged. But then it goes on. And Lil Blue apparently makes a post. And it says to post my address was a low blow. But I got a lower blow for you. Because this is all over Cardi Husband. And all capital. So then she continues. This is all because a married man getting pre-pregnant and making her get an abortion for chump change. All capital. And her telling everybody. And them assuming it was me telling everyone. But really it was the whore who got the abortion who was telling everyone. Y'all go so far on Beyonce's Enter of the Net and China's World Wide Web. I don't know when we got like this, but we go too far on the internet. So then she goes on and says, I don't care about nothing no more. Because you running around telling my address. But itches really can't keep their personal business about a married man to their self. So now then, she doesn't stop there. She posts again and says, you thought you could jug at me because an NDA? Blocked while you typing. You got, y'all, trying to read messages and texts and posts. 
from this new generation erases my brain cells. Trying to figure out how to formulate a sentence and some sense out of this mess. This is what happened when they took cursive out of schools. It makes you wonder what else they took out of school for our kids. Because what is this? Blocked while you typing. You got a bigger fish to fry. Didn't you violate an NDA or some? Pre, you're weird. You thought I ever gave a app. Y'all been trolling me since March and he's messy. He went back and told you that I'm on an NDA and you text me my first and last name. Nobody knew I was on one, but Buddy, me, and Morgs, whoever Morgs is. So then it goes on and it shows, I guess, Offset's inbox. And it says, hey, I'm sick of Pre trying to fake bully me. All she do is tell y'all business. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this what she sent to Offset? So the response is, what's your line? Then it says, control your hoe. She's still on the monkey-ish. Effing with me. I been cool, but y'all ain't. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just keep playing with me. My address has been posted. I have a seven-month-old son. Are you insane, sir? So then she posts again and says, Wired it. Mind you, I never asked. So this was just given. So there's a clip of the supposed alleged bank transaction for $15,000 listed below. And it says, Buddy offered me fifteen dollars to not tell nothing. Kept it solid. This was March 6th. The same day slash night that Kayla walked up to me randomly trying to fight me. It continues. It you gon' learn. Don't nothing pass me. You a liar. You the one behind all this BS. You keep telling her lies about me, MF. The response is, why are you hanging up? That is so rude. I'm calm as ever on the phone. Cause I dead ass have not spoken to her. She says, Buddy texts me this as I'm walking out of Cavo. Like you sent this whole Kayla to fight me. Thinking I told Cardi after you done wired me. Or Morgs. Cause I ain't told a soul-ish. So she continues. She's not talking to him, dummy. Why you spreading that? First of all, good morning. How are you? I haven't spoken on you or your wife at all. I have never. You have too many people involved. Nas, me, Morgs, boo Billions, and you keep coming at me crazy. I haven't even been on my phone. Just leave me alone, please. I don't care about your relationship. I kept it real on my part. Once you told me you don't F with me and you will get me spanked slash whacked for no reason. And you know I am 22 and a single mom with nobody. And I do mean nobody. Just leave me alone. I'm not about to be looking over my shoulders. Pre already sent her best friend and them to fight. Y'all, at what point did we grow up? You remember when I asked the question, where did this whole side piece air come from? Cause little girl, didn't you know you was 22 and a single mom when you started messing around with a married man? Didn't you know that? Cause that's what I'm getting from these texts. They used to have a thing and now he got a thing with her friend. So is all of this because she mad? He done tapped the friend and don't want her no more? Like what's going on? So now Cardi thrown in it and Cardi got to catch a strike. Because if you're not really that pressed, why, is, why the need for so many posts? Back to back to back to back to back. Why? Y'all get in these situations with these married men and then you start crying when it don't go your way. What did you think he was going to do? Leave his mane for you, silly rabbit? Baby, tricks are for kids. Please go sit down. Because what is this? But again, that's this exposed culture. When I can't get my way, then I got to expose you. This is why I don't understand why y'all still do dirt. <laughs> this is why. Because the minute y'all get upset, all y'all do is expose each other. So I don't know why y'all still do dirt with each other. Or let each other know the dirt that you've done child so she says i'm not about to be looking over my shoulder pre already sent her best friend and them to fight me at the lounge that night over your ish because morgs told pre you paid me and that i'm on an nda and pre know my first and last name from morgs because morgs had got my passport when i signed the nda this ish is literally right in your face. Stop trying to pick at me at this point. I go through a lot in my own life. 
You know Morgs is telling everyone who will listen. Pri and Morgs are friends. Morgs tell her and Stefan everything. But yet every day you threaten me and come at me crazy. Haven't even contacted you once. You went that far and Morgs and Morgs confirm you and Pri are still in communications directly. She's still calling you. She's sending you some, she's sending you screenshots of me and her DM. You or Morgs told her about me. Yeah, I I'm not reading the rest of this. This when are y'all men gonna learn? This is what I this is what I don't understand. Y'all don't think about the consequences of your actions. Y'all decide to take y'all little joystick and dip in the lake of crazy. And then you get shocked when crazy is as crazy does. Didn't BBD tell y'all back in the day, never trust a big button to smile? And that's all y'all be going for. And then afterward, this is what y'all dealing with. All your business, all your stuff, all over the internet. Because you can't keep it in your pants. And you got these little girls out here catching feelings. I thought y'all generation was the ones that came up with the saying, catch flights, not feelings. So what's going on? Because it's a whole lot of emotional ish on the internet because people when they feel it. Y'all, Paul Cardi, well, I can't even say that because she keeps staying to deal with it. So I, I can't even say poor Cardi. And I get it, this is her husband. But at some point, you got to want more for yourself. You got to want somebody who wants you, want to take care of you, want to provide for you. Damn near worships the ground you walk on. Can't wait to see the smile on your face. Any other woman walking by don't even make his eye twitch. But y'all settling for what? So you can have one of these ninjas with a name? So you can be another pouch on his belt? Child, please. Next, because I'm tired of all this drama. Let's get to something fun. Because y'all wilding on this here enter of the net. So next up on the docket, we have Smiley. And Smiley is brought to us by the Zeus Network. So it looks like Smiley done hooked up with Ray J. And Smiley is elevating, honey. Apparently, she was asked to be one of the hosts for the BET basketball game. And I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her. Smiley has always been destined for something greater than Zeus. I said it on my videos. Every video that I covered where I talked about Smiley, I said Smiley is on the wrong network. She always has been. Smiley is definitely a star. The girl is a hell of an actress. <laughs> If you've ever watched her on Zeus, then you know the girl is a hell of an actress. She is. She definitely is. I said I would have loved to see her in a Lifetime movie. She would play the hell out of a single white female or single Hispanic female in her case. So it looks like Ray J was able to get her some connections. You see her on the floor taking pictures with Usher. Come on now. Do your big one, Smiley. We proud of you. And this is what I say about all the girls on Zeus Network. Think higher. Think bigger than Fight Club Central. She would have never received this opportunity if she was still on Zeus. Never. But look at her on the floor with the honoree of the night, Mr. Usher Raymond. Come on now. Big things popping and little things dropping. <laughs> Do your big one, Smiley. We proud of you. And I promise you, I'm going to keep my eye on her. I really think she's going to do big things. She should. Because if I will put my money on anyone from the Zeus Network, making it into something big, I mean really big, besides what they're aspiring to, which is just being the next Natalie Nunn, I will put my money on Smiley. Promise you. Keep your eye on her. Remember, I said it here first. Well, that's all I have for this first edition of the Grand Slam. <laughs> Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Don't worry, there is plenty more to come. I gotta clear out my archives. <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Consider becoming a confidant. Joining the Fizz fam. The Champagne Gang. You're welcome over here. It's a safe place. And if you're not sure just yet, don't worry about it. We'll leave the light on for you. Consider supporting the channel and hitting the cash out. Everything that you see on this channel is created and edited by me. So your support would be greatly appreciated. Tell your friends about us. We are on our road to 1K subscribers and 4K watch hours. As of right now, let me check, hold on. We are at 473, uh-oh, no. We are at 475 subscribers and 2.4K watch hours. Y'all, we almost there. Help us get there, please. <laughs> 
Y'all know y'all love it over here. Thank you for joining me again. If you have any stories you would like to see me cover, why don't you send me an email at champagnesecrets at gmail.com. Confidants. Always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink. Till we meet again. Ta-ta.